Where you know if we're stopped for some distance, they can hold up a message in front, and then you can either go one flash yes, two flashes no. What does it mean to explore? Exploration driven by curiosity is one of the most important reasons human civilization has advanced over the ages. As humans, we find it natural to travel to an unfamiliar place, to see what is there for the first time, to locate landmarks, and to find our way home. But how do you teach a machine to explore? We decided to experiment in a place that is complicated even for humans, an underwater cave in northern Florida called Peacock Springs. Our robot is called Sunfish. It's an underwater drone that can point, hover, and move in any direction. For now, it has a fiber optic communications thread so we can look over its shoulder as it learns, but it performs all tasks without any human control. It has to make its own decisions regarding what to do next. Peacock is a true labyrinth. There are tunnels branching left and right. There is no GPS. To keep from getting lost, cave divers run a continuous safety line they can follow back to the entrance. Sunfish operates similarly, but instead of a physical dive line, it creates a virtual safety line by remembering its inbound path and a map it creates of what it's seen. The first step is to look around using sonar to create a 3D view. Using what it's seen, the robot then determines where it can safely move without touching a wall, floor, or ceiling. We can give it a goal, such as attempt to go one kilometer to the north. Then it will only seek passages that might eventually move it in a general northward direction. But it must choose a route that will get it there while exploring all possibilities. Using these behaviors, the robot can discover dead-end tunnels, back up, and try again until it finally finds a route forward. In the peacock maze, we gave the robot a goal of reaching a place called Pothole. There were many twists and turns and junctions to discover along the way, but Sunfish made it to Pothole, a distance of about 150 meters, and then it began the most important robotic behavior, coming home. Sunfish now used the stored inbound path as a guide, continuously comparing what it saw to features that had been scanned on the way in. If the robot's idea of where it was did not match the features seen, then it corrected its path to match the previous 3D map. This way, moving, scanning, remembering, and double-checking, Sunfish completed the first robotic exploration from Peacock Springs to Pothole and back. Autonomous exploration is still in its infancy, but the Sunfish tests conducted at Peacock Springs in the fall of 2017 have opened an exciting doorway to what may soon allow underwater robots to go far beyond what even the best divers can do.